that did suck and it reminds me of what's happening with my channel it's going under they're killing me guys I'll show you in a future video I won't talk about it now but it's gonna blow your mind I'll show you some stats and you're gonna be like what the hell but anyway we'll get on with this video soon I've made my PayPal link finally and thanks to all you guys that told me to do that it's easy you can just donate to that link and it'll help tremendously anything even just enough to buy a pack of bananas you know like at the moment I'm so broke and YouTube takes up all my time like I don't have any time to make money so it kind of sucks but I do enjoy it that's one thing but let's get on with this video you know I always see these scooters as I'm driving past and like I know I'm never gonna rent one again remember I rented one like a few videos back probably like 10 videos back but like yeah I went like two miles and that was it I'm never gonna go it was like $20 as well it's ridiculous but aside from that even if it was 20 cents I would, I'm never even if it was free actually I wouldn't not I don't want to go on that thing you know it's no I couldn't put my finger on it but like now I can describe like remember how I said it feels like a cheap carnival ride but it's not quite it's more like it's shit right but it's struggling just to be shit it's like just trying to hold it together just to keep up at that level of shitness that it does and if it drops below that level god knows what it's gonna become but man these things suck guys it's it's ridiculous and oh, I can't ride this thing while like holding on this shit it's not like an EC Dude. Yeah, for now I'm just gonna have to see what I can do because as I said, my Sherman got delayed and then I got some good news saying it was gonna come in soon. Well, not not really. I got like charged more money. I'll tell you about that in a sec though. But let's head over to the um, trail and talk about it some more. We'll zip over in two seconds. <laughs> Here we go, we got one taken off. Oh, it's not, it's not taken off. What the hell is it doing? Where are you going? Let's see where it's going. I don't know where it's going. I don't know what he's doing. Taxiing. Oh my god! What the f? Where did that come from? Oh, there it is. There it is. Look. Look, I was driving along. Just driving along and look. Look what we got.
Well guys, we've got a few things to talk about today. And I'm hoping it's not too loud. That waterfall is making a whole lot of noise. But hopefully you can hear my voice over it. It's just beautiful out here, isn't it? Like, I just thought, why not just stay out here? I'll go a little further so it's not so loud. Alright, so... My Sherman got locked up again, guys. Can you believe that shit? I thought I was getting it back. And it's locked up again. He, I was meant to, you know, lockdown finished, like... Just a couple of days ago. And then guess what happened? They sent me another email saying, I'll show you, it's pretty crazy. And it's pretty important actually, because I used to ride at the beach a lot. And... I thought it was fine, you know? I thought it was doing fine. It wasn't harming the EUC much. But it turns out it does. Look at these photos, guys. Look at that, see the rust? And I was rinsing it every time. I would, um... I'll go for my ride and any time I would go into the salt water I would rinse it off thoroughly when I got home because Marty McFly said it was fine you know Marty from EUC electric unicycles and it's not fine guys look at that shit so what they said if I don't fix it they're gonna have to um, replace the motor no sorry if I don't fix it it could break any day they said and the only way to guarantee it's going to last is by replacing the motor. And I'm already, what, $600 into these repairs. So I'm up to $900 now, guys. I had to use my rent money. And now that's it. I'm behind in rent. And there's not much you can do about it, really. Like, I mean, there's not much I could have done. If I didn't pay that, I would have lost that $300 in petrol in the next three weeks. So... I had no choice and that's all right I don't mind guys you don't need money you don't need money guys let me explain a little bit about money and this is gonna like we're gonna talk about a few topics here and it's gonna like hopefully all come together under one umbrella sort of thing actually I kind of need an umbrella a real umbrella because it was raining just like not long ago look at the sky see but anyway let's talk about money a little bit and first all I'll say is you don't need money to be happy at all like even going back and when I think about when I had more money I, I'm, I reckon even somehow I'm happier without money because it forces you to like find ways to stay happy you know at the end of the day money can't buy happiness and the number one thing in your life is your health not your wealth it's your health and just think about it for a sec what would you do if someone said look you're gonna have to sell your wealth you're gonna have to sell it all you'd be fine with that wouldn't you because you'll get it right back you're selling it right you're getting your money back you still got your wealth but what if someone said you got to sell your health no way you can't do it even if someone offered you the entire universe or the whole world let's say the whole planet earth every single square inch of land is now yours everything is yours you own it but you're sick as a dog what good is that no good is it i'd rather be flat broke but healthy I mean a million times over it's not even you can't even compare them so hell I say wealth is not that important guys you just need enough to survive right and that's where I'm falling down right now guys like I'm gonna open my um my PayPal so I've already uh, done my PayPal thing so if anyone wants to donate to the channel they can and I'm gonna put it up now Oh, 
And guys, you know I feel like, hold on. And I, it's been so long since I had my EUC. It's like, I don't even feel like I'm gonna be, it feels like I'm never gonna ride again. Like I never even rode. It was in like a past life or something, you know what I mean? But I'm wondering, is it like riding a bike? Like, do you never forget or? It's been that long, I might get on this thing and be like, I've forgotten how to ride it, you know? It's pretty crazy, man. Like, when I go back to thinking, go back to that day when I lost my 16X, right? When was it? Like, months ago, right? Remember how, this, like, devastated I was? Look, I'll play that sound right now, the sound what of my voice. The, the instant I realized I was so devastated. And that was just because I couldn't ride for the rest of that day, right? And now I can't ride, I haven't ridden for months. It's like I don't even ride it anymore, you know? It's like, it's a distant memory from a past life, you know what I mean? But it's beautiful out here, isn't it, guys? And normally, I would want to come here with my Sherman. Or any 16X, Sherman, whatever. But look, see that boardwalk here? You can just ride right up to here. I guess you could drop it down here and then ride on these rocks, but it's a bit risky. But it's pretty, like... Going back to that money thing, like talking about money again, guys. I find it kind of like... I mean, I'm happy, guys. I'm fucking happy as can be right now. And I don't have a cent. And it's places like this. It's places like this that... That um, instill that happiness into me. You know what I mean? It's like... Feeding your soul. It's, this place is magical, right? But when I had money... You don't think of places like this, because it's free. This doesn't cost a cent, right? You're thinking of eating junk food and... It's just like, it's... It doesn't buy true happiness, right? And it's kind of crazy. Now that I see how awesome this place is, I feel like I'm spoiled, you know what I mean? Like I should be charged to come here. You know, like when I think of the, the benefit I get, I feel like this is worth a hundred dollars per visit. A hundred. It should cost a hundred bucks to get into this place. That's how good it is. So I would pay a thousand dollars to come here if you had to, right? Imagine in a world where the only way you could come here was by paying a thousand dollars. I would do it. I don't know how often, probably not often at all, maybe once a year, but I would do it for sure. I mean, this is just sacred this is awesome it doesn't get much better than this guys this is the life and it's completely free it doesn't cost a cent not a dime and you can come here all the time have the time of your life and that's that guys that's that look at this place Fucking awesome. And it's not the best day. Like I said, this is like pretty much a winter's day out here. It's like 10 degrees Celsius, freezing. And look, bare feet. Like I said, I always, always with bare feet because you connect to the earth elect electrically, right? I mentioned that before. The earth is electrically charged at negative 20 millivolts scientific fact and our bodies need the negative charge it's like an antioxidant right it replaces electrons that have been stolen by free radicals just like an antioxidant right here see the rocks are conductive the rocks conduct electricity but 
not just that, the water, see it's all wet, it makes it even more conductive, so it's even better, right? You know your body is conductive, and yeah, and guys, now I'm going to go, I'm going to take some close-up of that waterfall, right? It's going to look awesome. All right, let's just end it there for now. We'll continue in like a day or two. It'll be up real quick. I'll just split it in half, you know. And I'll talk more about my Sherman as well. Oh, and I'll tell you about my fall, you know, when I fell over. Straight on my back. It was pretty bad. We'll, st we'll cover that in the next video. I'll see you then, guys. Peace.